Baltimore's own Eddie Butcher. You see all this hardware. I see four world championship belts. The man is in full contact karate. The latest one, I believe, is the one over your shoulder. You just got this weekend, or no, is it that one? No, this is my dear. This, this one is the latest one. Well, I'm telling you, first of all, congratulations for making it four. And uh, you really got to be thrilled with the way all this is working out. Yeah, well, you know, I give all praise to the creator. You know, I'm just working for him. And if I continue to do the right things, he'll continue to bless me abundantly. Now, when you got four of these things, the first one obviously is a major thrill. Do you, do you ever start to lose some of the tingle when you get one of these? Well, when I got the first one, it, that was like a dream come true. Then you, you, you think back and you, you, you vision yourself be, becoming a Sugar Ray Robinson or a Sugar Ray Leonard, a Muhammad Ali, and then you, you want to fight other champions to see what, where your level is. And now, we're watching you fight right here, Eddie. To someone that doesn't know much about kickboxing or full contact karate, it's got sort of the best elements of both those sports, doesn't it? Exactly. Feet and hands uh, put together, that makes the training very, very hard. Like boxing, you just use your uh, hands, but you have to uh, get uh, about eight kicks around. If you don't make your proper kicks, then you get, uh, get deducted some points. I so got you. you have to get the proper kicks in. You know, you mentioned Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar <laughs> Ray Leonard, uh, particularly Sugar Ray Leonard, made a lot of money at this game. In kickboxing, that's not the case, is it? No, that's not the case because here in, in the United States, we're baseball, basketball fans like that. But uh, in every mall in the United States, there's a Tekken 1, 2, and there's a Mortal Kombat machine. So our youth uh, love the martial arts. So if, if we're trying to make this a, a sport of the future, then we need to get the bucks rolling. How will we do that? I think that the proper people need to just get behind it. You know, uh, anybody who's uh, concerned with, with the future of sports can see that uh, the youth love this. They love martial arts. Uh, we need to just uh, sit down at the table. Uh, Christ, you got a guy here with four world titles. From right here in Baltimore. You know, right here in Baltimore. Yeah. You don't have to say he's from Habity, Grace, Maryland, and he's, he, we're going to bring him and adopt him to Baltimore City. I'm right here in Baltimore City. Yeah. I have four world titles. Come on. Hey, your school's down, uh, you told me, by University of Maryland Medical Center on Baltimore Street. Give me that phone number real quick. 332-0880. Uh, oh, and I know you got some openings for students, right? That's right. Let's take, a look at, uh, let's take a look at these championships here. Now, we even left one out, I believe, Eddie. Take a look at that. Which one did we leave out? Uh, you have the WWKA, the CKA, the FFKA, and the FFKA Light Middleweight. Okay. See, you know you're doing something right when we run out of space on the screen to right. list all of your belts. Right. Eddie, uh, best of luck to you. I know you got uh, you got a fight coming up. What September? Uh, September 30th or September the 4th. Okay. Well, well let's uh, we'll give you a call. Let's have you back on. We can talk about maybe a fifth belt at that point. Well, thank you. All right, Eddie. Thanks for being with us, Eddie Butcher. Probably the best kickboxer in the world right now in his weight class. I mean, the hardware doesn't lie. Thank you. Thank That's you, my right. friend. All right. right. That's That'll right. do it for this edition of Sports Unlimited. For the champ, I'm Bruce Cunningham. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.